Hey guys, what's going on? Today is Monday. Just kidding, that's super cringy. Today is Wednesday. Super cringe. It is Wednesday. It's not like they already know. Well, they know because I announced it on the my page saying that I'll have a video up on Wednesday. I'm recording today on Wednesday and I'll be editing the same day. So today I will be giving you guys an update on the Subaru and this will be, I forgot what vlog this was for Subaru, for the Subi vlog two? Subi vlog two or three. Okay, I lost count. I'm, actually, I'm gonna check right now. I'm gonna check right now because I forgot. Subi vlog three. <laughs> All right, so since the last vlog, a lot has happened. Just recently, I guess about in early August, late July, something like that, I actually got egged a second time. And I will put the picture somewhere on the screen or right next to me. I did not take any videos of it, but I do have a bunch of pictures. And that was definitely one big thing that happened and I got egged twice in less than a month. I don't know why I got egged a second time. Yeah, I guess it was just SOL and it just really sucks. I'm not sure why I got egged a second time. But nothing happened to the paint, thank God, because I did have it ceramic coated. So it did help out a little bit. I didn't recognize any kind of stains on my paint. It did get on just one side. There is no stains and we used OptiCoat for the ceramic coating. And I guess like the best thing a part of that was that it's actually a little bit of like a self healing. So after I washed it for a good two hours, I just let it sit in the sun after that and it should have been healed. I don't see any signs of damage, which is the good part, but eventually the whole car will get repainted and all that good stuff. So after that whole egging scene, lately I've been attending more shows. The first one that I went to, of course, was S3. After that, I went to Spocom in Anaheim. And then recently I went to Elite Tuner at the Irwindale Speedway. And then the last show that I attended was the Tuner Show at the LA Convention Center. And my last one is on October 13th on, that's actually on a Sunday. I have no idea why it's on a Sunday. So that's my last show and that one's Subi Fest. So if you're going, I will definitely be there. I will actually be a booth car with carbon exhaust. So that I am super excited about. And after that, I had a problem. It wasn't a check engine light, thank God, but it was a coolant line, which some of you guys might have saw on my Instagram page or my story. I did actually post it on my feed, so if you guys saw that, you guys know what was going on. But for those of you guys who don't follow me on Instagram and don't watch my stories and all that good stuff, I will show the little video or like pictures right beside me. What we were dealing with, that happened a day before the Elite Tuner show. And that was insane. I was on my way to school and I was warming up my car and when I backed it out of the garage, I noticed that there was a big pool of freaking coolant on the ground and I was like, what the heck's going on? Because I didn't drive it for two days and I was like, why all of a sudden is it leaking? And when I went to go look in there, I couldn't figure out what it was because I was rushing to go to school because I have class at 8 a.m. So me and the other CJ, we were looking at it. We noticed that there was a line that was literally just spewing out coolant everywhere and it was just shooting out of the engine bay and it was just insane. There was a big pool of it. I thought I lost a lot of coolant for some odd reason because there was like, I wish I have a picture of it, but I thought I lost a lot of it, but when I checked in my overflow tank and all that stuff, there was barely any that was missing. So I was like really confused. Luckily we finished about like 3 p.m. So I was still able to prep my car for the show. So I'm really thankful for that. The night before we removed it, we literally had to cut it out with tools and it was just a nightmare because the space in the engine bay that we were working on, it was so small that you couldn't even get your, I couldn't even get my hands in there and I'm a girl and my hands are pretty small. So like I couldn't even get my hands in there. He couldn't even get his hands in there. And so we had to take out the line with just tools, which was insane, with just pliers. We used wrenches, we used picks, we even used his dad's tool because he works on roofs and stuff like that. But we even used some of his tools that was like totally irrelevant for like, for cars and working on the engine bay. And it's like, I, we used a bunch and I couldn't even, I can't even stress. That was a nightmare getting it out. But the worst part was getting it back in because as you saw in the video, the gap was 
probably literally the tiniest thing ever. And the line was probably like that long. We're like, how the hell are we gonna get that on there? We thought it was impossible. We were just gonna give up and give it to a shop and be like, you know what, screw it. Like, I'm just not even gonna go to Elite Tutor, but it would just seemed like it was the most impossible thing ever. But somehow we did it. Okay, now we're moving on to the stage two parts. I posted, I got these stage two parts a long time ago. And that was, I posted, it was this picture. I'll put it on the screen, but it was this picture and I posted that May 21st. Right now I have the boost controller and I have the three inch downpipe from Cobb. The next thing that I'm trying to get right now is the equal length headers. I am trying to also get the flex fuel kit and the external wastegate. And the reason why I am not installing these parts right away is because I would technically run rich and I wouldn't want that for the car and I want it to run properly because I spent so long, I spent probably about like a year and a half just working on my car and getting it running right and properly. So the last thing I want is to just destroy it. So after I go stage two, I am currently investing in the WRC wide body kit. I want to make almost the exact replica of the WRC from Solberg. So I'm just putting my own twist on it, but I definitely do want to get the WRC wide body kit. It's kind of scary because I don't want to see my car cut up into pieces. The only thing that will be stock on my car is the roof and the trunk and that's it. Two doors. And, the, and two doors. So my plan for this video is that I was trying to film in front of my car but now I'm front, filming in front of this wall because I don't have my car right now. It's in the shop right now currently getting repainted. Only the bumper because if you guys paid attention to the S3 video and we got my bumper that was like repainted after it was damaged it was actually that subaru blue that was on my bumper was the new subaru paint Does that makes sense it's not subaru world rally blue it's the newer subaru blue so right now it's currently getting paint matched in another shop so god i'm still thinking that like there's something that's still going on with the car <laughs> I thought there was more that happened to the car from the last Subi vlog, but I guess that was it. That's all I could think of in the top of my head. And I just want to thank you guys so much for watching again. I'm sorry that this video was late, but I am pushing myself very hard to get this out. So tomorrow I'll be recording the, my whole life thing of what's been going on since I always say I'm busy. So that's going on tomorrow. And then I still have that Q&A. If you guys didn't watch the last one and if you're watching this one, Go ahead and leave me some questions down in the comments below or just message them to me and I will include them in the next one. If you guys haven't followed me already, it's Rex and CJ. I'll leave it up on the screen and of course in the description down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Hey guys, what's going on? Today is Wednesday, <laughs> not Monday, which means I lag two days to make this video. It's not Subaru. Three? Oh god, hold on, my eyes are cheap. We gotta pause. We gotta pause. When was uh, S3? Uh, July? CJ. Yeah, interruption. I run a business.